Hello, welcome to another video. Let's solve this equation of inverse tangents, or what you call arc tangents. We know how to solve trig equations, but I hardly see inverse trig equations. And this one is special because there's some special strategy you have to take. Now think about it, usually, I would say take the tangent of both sides so you can free the guys in jail, but you cannot take the tangent of this because there's a two sitting here. And this is not natural log where you can move this two inside. So it becomes a problem. Now, we can do a U substitution for the arguments, but it still does not change the problem that's outside. So what should we do? Well, we'll have to replace one of them with something else. So we're still gonna do something like a U substitution or a theta substitution, but there's still more work to do. Let's get into the video. So this is the substitution I would choose to make. It is either I replace arctan x with something else, or I replace arctan 1 over 12x with something else. Now, this is less complicated than this. I tried this, it didn't turn out well. So that's why I'm gonna stick to this one and just use it to solve it. So what I'm gonna do is say, let theta be equal to arctan of x. Remember, if theta is arctan of x, it means that the tan of theta is x. That's the meaning. If you take the tan of both sides, you're gonna end up with tan theta is equal to, if you take the tan of this, it's gonna release this x, so tan theta is equal to x, and that's gonna make our life a lot easier. Now you're beginning to see it. Okay, now, do you wanna go plug in tan theta into this space here? Well, how easy will your life become? The inverse sign of, that might be a problem. So don't do that yet. Let's rewrite the equation since we've done the substitution. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna say this now means that two times, this is now theta is equal to arctan of one over 12 x. Okay. So now it becomes easy because we can free this guy by taking the tangent of both sides. So if I take the tangent of this, I get tan two theta. If I take the tangent of this side, I'm gonna free this guy, I get one over 12 X. So what we have is tan two theta will be equal to tan of octan of one over 12 X. So this guy breaks this guy, so we have a free one over 12 X, and on the left hand side, I have tan two theta. So I have tan two theta is equal to one over 12 X. Now we have one equation and two unknowns. <laughs> so you say, this doesn't sound like you've made life easier for me. Well, I have made it easier. If only you can investigate. Now let's go back. What exactly is tan two theta from your trig identities from your trig class? Ah, now your eyes have opened. You can see that tan two theta is equal to two tan theta divided by one minus tan squared theta. Do you recall this? From tan A plus B, you get tan A plus tan B over one minus tan A tan B. But since A is equal to B, tan A plus tan B will just become two tan theta since theta is A and B. And here, instead of tan A tan B, it's gonna be tan theta tan theta, which is tan squared theta, and you're done. 
So the left hand side can be written this way. So we can actually say that the left hand side is 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan square theta is now equal to 1 over 12 x. Nice. Now tell me what is tan theta? Go back to the beginning. Remember that substitution I made. I said tan theta is equal to x. There we go. So I can come here and say 2x over 1 minus x squared equals 1 over 12x. And everybody can solve this, right? 12x, come on, don't get too excited. <laughs> if we cross multiply, or we multiply both sides by 1 minus x squared times 12x, what do we get here? We're going to get 24x squared is equal to 1 minus x squared. Move the x squared over, you have 25 x squared is equal to 1. So that x squared is equal to 1 over 25. Huh, what does it mean? Well, it clearly means that x is the square root of 1 over 25. So x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 over 25. So that x is equal to 1 over 5 and x2 equals minus 1 over 5. And these are the two possible answers for the values of x. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.